Yes? Who are you? Hey guys, Constable Myers, RCMP. What Pope is your name? Yarma Myers. Yes, that and is what is your Dutch number? Right here, 55854. 57835. I'm you, sir. How are you guys doing? There will be no contact today. We didn't know there was a Why are you here? We're here because the sheriff's contacted us. That's the problem. Is are that you? a type of why not? They're in the process right now of getting a court order to have you guys removed from the property. Are you aware about that? No. Why would you be removed from a home? Someone's purchased the property. I never saw this We don't know all the details on the backstory right now, but somebody's purchased it. They filed for an application to take possession of the property. So are you protecting their interest right now? Well, they're, they're asking for assistance as an organization in the army. As a corporation in the army. That's they're right. They're asking for RCMP assistance. That's right. Are you aware you're not allowed to do that? Hmm. You can't be involved in the civil matter, right? Who is paying you? Are you detached or you are RCMP? It's RCMP. So you are paid of the, you have, the municipality is paying for your wages, right? It's complicated. So it means that you are the corporate. You are the corporate police. But you're aware that the sheriffs are trying to get an order. The sheriffs were kicked out of there because they tried to do sure? an underhand uh, dropping off of a contract under my car. And I kicked them out because they tried to commit fraud on camera. On camera, we have everything, the video, on the video, what they have done. Corporate affairs. There is no crime here. Well, if there's a court order saying that you guys have to remove the court. The court is How? How this court is registered on the 164 Main Street Shelter? Have you checked this? This is not the court. This is the court. bogus court. This is not the court of law. The Yarmouth Justice okay. Center is registered on the Shelburne, 164 Main Street. Hold on. Expl Officer explain, Mayor. explain that again. I, I cannot understand you, what you're saying. You actually look like you do know. You, <laughs> you actually do look like you know. I look like I know. What, yes. is, what does that mean? I watched you listening to my husband okay. explain it. Okay. You are aware that the Yarmouth Justice Center is not a court of law. Yarmouth Justice Center is not a court of law. No, it is not. What is it? Had it, had it been a court of law, it is the place of business. In, a place, it's a place of, business. of business. Yes. It would have been registered at a proper address, not at a bogus address. The Governor General of Canada and also the um, Attorney General of Canada as well as Nova Scotia is involved. We have a contract with them. They are aware of it. Just ask the General, the Attorney of the Canada and the Nova Scotia. They disconnect, they disconnect us in the winter. Can you see this? This is the crime. The only crime that is happening here is us being disconnected from power in the middle of the winter when snow is up to our knees. Who disconnected your power? Uh, some guys. So you don't have power Do you have here. power now? No, we don't have the, the landline too because the Nova Scotia power, the one guy, just cut this off in case, in case of what? Did you pay for your power? Of course, it's paid in full. The public utilities are paying in full. You should be aware of it. By the public trusts. The which, which the which the judge of the Supreme Court could be involved in the civic matter, civil matter. This is the administrative process. This is not. There is no crime. No one bought anything from us. We didn't sell anything. It's very common for uh, sheriffs to issue orders for evictions of property. So that's that's treason. That's that's the treason. What the crime? Out of my home, I don't think there's going to be a contact with you today, Officer Myers. No. 
Okay. There's no contract. Okay. That's fine. No jointly, no contract. Fine. Thank you. You should look into the justice system because it's really registered and it's registered on a public budget. And any judge who likes to commit fraud by uh, getting involved I, in it. I hate to ask this question, but what does that mean? That um, means the court is not a legitimate court. That's what it means. You folks should really be looking into it. And I'm sorry, but you do look like you know about it. No, I, I respect uh, our Constitution. I respect our laws. I follow our criminal code. I don't make up things. Um, I believe in due process. I so this is still in... Everything is, is the administrative process. I just say that these things don't exist. I don't believe Oh, in, they do exist. I don't believe in that. We are proof <laughs> that they do exist. Okay, they do exist, but they're not. You just, they merely say, you just merely say that a court doesn't exist because you want to make it that way. I don't agree. No, no, no. No, no, just check. As a court of law, and you have to, to check it. Yeah, there is the Brad Street, the um, Dance and Brad Street. Just check out the Yarmouth Justice Center. Is doing business as a satellite. a satellite court of the Shelburne and it's registered on the 164 Main Street in the Shelburne, which doesn't exist, which means that is the bogus, bogus place of business. And you should look up after so this. What, what document did you receive that said that? We received nothing. We received nothing. This is our own research and our research of lawyers. Yes. Lawyer. It's the official information about all the corporate, corporate well, bodies. Okay. Thank Take you. care. We'll be in touch. So, no, oh, we won't. No, we, won't. we won't. Next time you come, bring the highest um, offi officer. But the, the pro... The, the, officer with I am the highest officer. So what is your... Corporal Shane Foddy. Corporal. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Shane Foddy. There will be no next encounter and no contact. You should look into your Yarmouth Justice Center because it looks like someone is committing a crime here and it ain't us. And if you are taking the money from the corporate corporate bodies like the municipality you are you are committing a treason because you shouldn't be involved in any business you should be paid of the government not from the okay gentlemen is a 14 year prison sentence what's that sir there is a 14 year prison sentence for what you do protecting from the business for protecting from the business it looks like you are but you now you have taken information from us that the business is broken what we do is protect so why you are not protecting us? We told you we didn't. I'm here we, to have a conversation. <laughs> we don't, we, we, we won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. That's what I do every day. No, you won't. That's mm -hmm. what I do every day. I don't want to engage with you. Every day I meet no, you and have conversations. No, please, please do have That's conversations, but not with me, because you didn't have much to say. You've taken information about the time taken from right now here. Okay. Thank okay. you, sir. All right. Have a nice day. Guys.